Hello everyone, welcome back to Chrono Trigger Crimson Echoes. Uh, yeah, we're in the future now. Just like we were before, a video or two ago. But we actually get to see the uh, what actually happens. Question, question, question mark. That is an odd name. That is not his name, his name is Valthasar. He's one of the original sages from 12,000 BC. Yes, obviously. The end boss was encountered in 1999, which wasn't when the game came out. I don't know why they chose that seemingly arbitrary date, but um, 1999 is when the end boss was defeated, and he affected the future and made it a wastelands. But now that he's defeated, the future is no longer a wastelands, which means that Robo shouldn't exist, but he does, and it also means that Melchior doesn't know who we are. Quite the demanding fellow, isn't he? And he still knows who we are for some reason. I guess he just recovered his memories from traveling through time. I I don't know. Some explanation that doesn't need to be explained really. We just take it at face value. Robo still exists, and he still knows who we are, and that's good. I hope I'm not skipping through these things so quickly. Ah, I missed that the first time through. I didn't know he was making a new epoch. <laughs> Mother Brain was one of the, um... The optional side quest bosses that you could fight in the game. An obvious throwback to Metroid. It was without saying pretty much. But I'll say it anyway since uh there's an LP and saying things is is, is good for for LPing. It's a good idea to say things while you're LPing, not just Talk to another guy in the room with you. Like another LP I watched a few days ago, an awful LP. It's a very inter I haven't done that yet, but it sounds very, very interesting that you could go to a precise date. It'll probably make for quite interesting uh, side quests. Mm -hmm. Ah, that was useful. Useful they had their temporal catch. So I guess instead of 1000 BC being our central hub of this game, it is, uh, 20... Well, I can't see it, but 2300 I believe it is. Um, is our temporal hub. So we can explore, go around talking to everyone, um... There's actually some interesting things to see in this part of the game. Alright, the Wings of Time are the Epoch as well. She just called it a different name than he did for some odd reason. Uh, you can have our autographs, but later. We're busy right now. So I will save. And I will venture downstairs. On this lift. Sounded very New Zealand there, but... It just kind of happens to me sometimes. My accent changes randomly. I'll never say the same word twice. Once again, I'll never see though some weird twos. I got a power glove there, which is a weapon for Robo. Mm hmm You saw that the game kinda has a very political vibe to it. Uh, oh, can I skip through things quickly? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So we are 2300 AD. Thank you very much. You're a lot more helpful than your, uh, your alternate self. Um, what was I gonna say? I forgot. Oh yeah, it's got a very political vibe, both in the past and this, uh, future. 
not the past, the present, the present and the future. Um, with the with the well, the main enemies seem to be poor, 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 eh? poor, eh? poor, or whatever. But um, there's probably someone interfering with all that. Can't just be poor. Eh? They're poor. Yeah. That is the uh, Mammon, Mammonite, or Mammon Stone, or whatever it's called. It has quite a lot of power. It's actually a, um... It's actually from the meteorite that held the end boss. It's called Lavos. I don't know why I'm not saying its name. It's Lavos. Um... No, not really. Uh, what was I going to say, though? Yeah, I thought that was actually one of the other sages, but it's just a scientist from, uh, Zeal. But we got ourselves a new weapon for Luca, which we will equip. Oh, and I never noticed, I never mentioned before even that the, um... Well, one more HP, excellent. And the name suggests that it has four hits, but I don't see any of that. I mean, it doesn't have 40, but it doesn't have four... Yeah, it doesn't have 40 power. It's still just crap and useless. Um, I will actually switch around these items now that I think about it. Luca's look, look fine with the side scope. Kron would be better with the power, and what does Ribbon even do? Um, you will be better with the speed. Actually, no, you'll be better with the amulet, since I don't want you being put to sleep or whatever. Um, no point talking to any of these people. Well, I do like this game so far. Like I said before, there's a lot of um, a lot of story, and oops, yeah, I didn't mean to do that, but actually, I'll rewind. I don't want to progress the story. I want to see if I can go outside yet. And no, I can't. Or maybe I can. No, I can't. <laughs> there was definitely a way to get outside, but I don't seem to be able to do it yet. Um, I'm sure it was around this area. Oh yeah, these are healing pods. And there's an item over here. There's a power meal. It recovers you from question mark, I think it's, its description is. I do not know what that means. Another room here, which... Oh, there's Melchior. I'm very surprised, Melchior, even though I knew you'd be in here. He's messing around with these demon stones. But we should trust Melchior. He is a very smart man. They call it Dreamstone. Oh yeah, maybe it's not... I'm getting confused, I'm forgetting the original game, but... It's either stones from the meteorite that held Lavos, or they're just stones that are found in some cave somewhere that... No, 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 no. no. That's say that there were... That's the sunstone I'm thinking of it that was found in a cave. I think it is rocks that were in the meteorite. So we could do this bit that I winded before. I won't be using save states to cheese the game, but I will be using save states if I accidentally forget to show something that that doesn't get, won't get shown again in a, in a while, like like happened there. Hopefully, you can read and listen to me at the same time. Like I'm not just uh, assuming that's something that everyone can do. Kind of like uh, synesthesia people who assume that everyone sees colors and stuff. Um, He's going to travel through time! He dragged us along with him somehow. Dragged along three people. I don't. It's kind of weird he's that strong. We're going somewhere familiar, i.e., where we live. I don't think you get any more familiar. Of course he's going back to poor, he just said back to base. Um, I don't know why we're chasing him, we're just kind of chasing him for the hell of it. But um, this is Fiona's Forest, which was mentioned before, which was alluded to before, now we actually get to see it. There are enemies in Fiona's Forest, which we will fight, because... That is one of the things you do in this game, you fight enemies. We will show off all our magic. Kono has lightning magic. Uh, Marl has ice magic. Marle, Marl, Marl, 
Mal. I'm going to call her Mal because Mali just sounds weird. And if I ever get to Luca's turn, she has fire magic. They also have other magics which I will show off in a later battle. I won't cut off the future ones just because I want to use them to show off techniques. Actually, I could do it now. Actually, no, I... Well, I'll show off Chrono Slash. I will show off... Well, Mal is a heal attack, which I can't be able to show off. I'll use it outside of battle, because that is something you can do. And Luca has a Hypno Wave, which hits enemies in a line, which I should have just saved and actually used it in its intended purpose. But, um, yeah, that can always be done later. See, we learn dual techs now, which I will also show off. Three dual techs. Um, one for each combination of characters. Um, so I'll show you also that, yes, they also have um, texts that are yet to be learned. Um, they are quite a bit off, though, since we are getting not very too many... Not very too many... Good talking there. Not... Kind of wasted th those auras, too. Not many uh, tech points from fighting the enemies. We did get Aura Well and Antipode. Um, that's just a fire and ice attack, and that is a mass healing attack. And no triple techs yet. Uh, oops. And we also got... The third one we got is Firewell, which is a attack that Chrono and, and Luca use. So let's see if I can find more enemies to show those off. There is also an item somewhere in here that I want to pick up. Um, I don't remember it being an extremely useful item, but it's an item nonetheless. It's an ether. No point throwing it away. Um, so I will guess I will show off a dual tech. I will use Antipode first, since it looks flashy. You'll see um, Mal uses her ice attack and then Luca uses her fire attack, which should be counterintuitive, but apparently it isn't. Um, it does use up both of their turns and it uses up MP for each of them. Um, I missed how many, many it uses, but I can probably see it on the text screen. Yeah, MP used four each. Um, they don't, they're not always the same, sometimes they differ, like you see here. Chrono uses two, since that's how much um, his Cyclone uses. And Marl uses one, since that's how much her aura uses. Yes. Aura is a very, very, very useful spell, since it only has, uses one um, HP. And while it doesn't heal much, it's more than more than enough for uh, for this point in the game. There's also a magic tab here, which I also missed. Um, I haven't used that in my other game, and I will probably save it in this one too. Um, Chrono does have the highest magic power, but he also has good physical attack, and other enemies kind of rely a lot more on their uh, magic, like Marl. So I might use it on Marl in the future, but at this point in time, I will um, I will save it. Can't interact with that, but that, that's uh, that's the seedling that um, something to do with the forest, Fiona's forest. So go over here. That's the camp. That's that's our destination. So I will use the uh, remaining minutes on my pre-planned uh, 15 minute. Oops! Did I actually buy that? No, I didn't. Um, I'm not going to buy any weapons here since they kind of do appear later on by themselves, and I don't really need them for now since we won't be fighting too many strong enemies um, in the near future. It's best to save my money and. Um, I'll buy a few tonics though, just just four, just to round it off. Um, I'll buy a couple of heals. Actually, I'll buy ten since they're cheap. And I'll buy. I won't buy any revives. I won't buy any shells. Um, if if one of your characters die in battle, I'm saying this is you haven't seen it yet. If one of your characters die in battle, they will stay dead during the battle, obviously. But once the battle is over, they will um, they will be revived with one HP. So you're fine for. We're fine for revives at this point in time. Let's check out the poorest square. <laughs> Knives! They are my hobby. That was crap. You're rubbish. And that was also crap. I'm gonna read this just in case it's something important. Lights, fire and forest. Five dispatched, four returned. Cause uncertain. Bird rose of Medina origin found at the scene. Sample taken. Guess that is uh, 
important since I think we are Medina, even though I've been calling it Guardia the whole time. But Guardia might be the name of the royal family, I forget. But I think we've read something we weren't supposed to read. He works so hard, why is he saying 20 miles? Is he just running or... I don't know. Can't be bothered to talk to them since we're running out of time. Um, I'm just going to venture over here and cut the video off here and actually go in here in the next video. So, once again, hope you're enjoying the LP. Hope it is a good one. I will see you guys later. Bye.